Hello, well, we've got some fantastic students here today with us who are going to ask some questions about this very exciting new idea we have for Brintake School. So without further ado, I'm going to hand over to the most important people. What is vertical tutoring? Well, vertical tutoring is a new way of organising the school. At the minute, we're organising in what we call a horizontal way. It's where, at the moment, your forms are organised where you're all in the same age. Vertical tutoring will be where we put you together in houses, first of all, and then split up the houses into smaller tutor groups. And in that tutor group, you may have four year seven pupils, four year eight pupils, four year nine, all the way through to four year 13 pupils as well. Of course, you'll have one form tutor, but the new thing about this system would be you won't just have one form tutor, you'll have another form tutor in there as well. So every form will have two form tutors. And so that's the biggest difference that I think you'll find in terms of vertical tutoring. But there are lots of other things that we can tell you about it as well. But I I think I'd better be quiet now because I know someone else has got a question to ask. How is it different to the current form tutoring system? Okay, right, well I think Mr Davis covered a little bit of this, right, but obviously with the current system you were set up, aren't you, according to your age group, yeah? So, so we've got your 7, your 8, your 9, your 10, your 11, your 12 and you all have um, a year leader and an assistant year leader and then your form tutors. In the vertical tutoring system, you're set up, you're no longer set up according to your age, okay? So you might have four year seven pupils in the class, in your form class, you might have four year eight pupils in your form class, four year nine pupils, four year ten, four year eleven, and so on. So that actual form class is made up of pupils from lots of different year groups all over the school, okay? And um, you'll still have, like now, you've got a, a head of year, all right? You'd still have a head of year, but this time it would be called a head of house. So that head of house, for example, um, such as Mrs Morgan, Mrs Morgan, who's ahead of you currently, would become a head of house and she would be in charge of all of the different people within her house. And then you'd have an assistant head of house and then underneath that you'd have all your different form tutors and your form classes, okay? Organised, like I said, with lots of different pupils from different year groups in each class. Does that make sense? Yeah. Awesome. Who will be the form tutors? Well, this bit's really, really exciting. At the moment, the form tutors are the teachers. But if we move to this new system, the form tutors will be all of the adults in school. So it could include um, the premises team, it could include the people who are working in our office, it could include all of our learning support assistants and our learning support officers, our IT technicians, so that you get that and you'd have someone else supporting it. And we would be form tutors as well, or core tutors. So the head teacher, and I can't wait for this, um, if we do the system, I'd be a core tutor in a form as well. Mrs. Mackey, Mr. Rossa, they'd be core tutors as well. So absolutely every adult in the school. Uh, how will this system affect the assemblies? Right, that's a good question. And this is where it gets really exciting, all right? So you'd still have assemblies. So you'd have this time house assemblies. So your house leader would run an assembly with all of the different people within that house, okay? So you'd have lots of different people from different age groups in that assembly. You will also have other assemblies as well. So for example, Alison, you're just about to choose your options, aren't you, in year nine, yeah. yeah? So there will be times throughout the year where you'll need assemblies just for your year group. So you will still have, be able to have separate assemblies just for year nine as well. So it'd be a mixture of two different types of assemblies this time. You'd have your house assembly, which reminds me a little bit of Harry Potter with all the different houses and Harry Potter doesn't it yeah and you'd have that house assembly with people of all different ages from across the school so you get to know lots of people whereas now you might only know the people who are in your year group this system would allow you to get to know people from all different year groups okay just like they do in Harry Potter and then you'd still have your separate assemblies for your year group for times where you really need them. So for example, the year nine options, you'd have an assembly just to talk to year nine. For the six, for year 11 going into the sixth form, they need an assembly to talk about their options in that respect as well. All right, so you'd have a mixture of assemblies. That, that's one of the really exciting parts of vertical tutoring. Will pupils be taught in vertical groups or is that just full time? 
No, not in the first instance. Um, pupils would not be taught in vertical groups, but you know, and we keep using the word exciting today, don't we? That's another exciting thing because when we were talking about it, myself, Mrs. Mackey and the, and the senior leadership team, we were saying, isn't it strange? It's only ever in school are you organized according to your age. When you go off to university or you go to work, you'll be working with people from lots of different ages. But for some reason in schools, we're organized according to our age. And so we'd like to think that in the future, not only will you be in a vertical tutor group, and possibly you will be taught in a vertical way so that you can move on when you're ready instead of being held back. Because lots of pupils tell us, oh, I'm held back. I was bored with that. I've done it before. And so at the moment, though, um, our proposal is only there for tutor time. But who knows in the future? And that bit's exciting as well, isn't it? Um, will this will this like split up friendships and in, in different in the year groups? Oh, I understand that question. That's a really important question, right? But I think it's not going to split up friendships because when you think about it, right? Vertical tutoring, you're only talking about twenty minutes at the start of the day, right? Where you'll be in this vertical tutor group, you still get to see friends you've made in your other, you know, in your phone classes, break time, lunch time, during lessons, etc. Right? You're still going to get to see all of those friends. But what this system will do, and I'm gonna use the word exciting again, right? Because this comes to, this is a really exciting part for me, is it allow you to actually make even more friends. Because now, not only are you gonna be making friends with the people in year nine now, Sam, yeah? But you're gonna be making friends with people in year 10, 11, you're gonna know people in year 12 and year 13. So actually, your friendship group will grow through this system. So I think that's a really exciting part. But I understand the concern about friendship, but I think you've gotta remember that it's 20 minutes at the start of the day or at some point during the day, and actually, you're still gonna to get to see all those friends you've got, break and lunch and lessons but your friendship group is actually now about to grow quite rapidly yeah why is Brinte looking to change the tutoring system why are we looking to change brilliant question thank you well we've done lots of work over the last few years on learning and teaching and the clusters have worked really really hard at developing that and we started to look at what we call our pastoral system our pupil support system we thought is there something that we could do to make that a little bit better as well because often people say to us oh um, I like school, I like my lessons, but what I don't like to say are things like the older people, I don't know them and they scare me a little bit or um, I, I don't like the fact that when I go into my form um, it's really rushed and I can't get my voice heard and things like that and lots of pupils have said to us over the last few years, can I move my forms because I'm not very happy in my form um, and we know that some of our pupils as well when they were doing big things like Mrs Mackey has said like making their option choices um, it's really hard for them to get some time with that form tutor um, and so we thought well what would improve that system and vertical tutoring would offer us the answers to all of those things and more um, and that is why we think we need to change we don't think that what we've got at the minute it suits our pupils at the moment our school has changed so much in the last few years and now we think we ought to look at our tutor system to see if that should change as well. And we think vertical tutoring does all of that for us. When will it start? Right, okay, so you've got to remember that this at the moment is a proposal, right? So this is something that we're putting out to pupils, to staff, to governors, to parents and carers, right? As an idea, something that we think is brilliant for Brintig, all right? We really, really believe it's a brilliant thing. If pupils and staff and governors and parents agree and think it's a really good thing, all right, then this we would love to start from September because we think it would be a really, really good time to start something like this. It's something fresh, it's new, everybody coming back together, give us the opportunity to create new friends, new experiences. We think that would be a brilliant time. But this is a consultation, all right? So we want to take everyone's opinions on board, your opinions, all the other students in school as well, your parents and carers and, and everybody else in the school community. We want to find out what they think before we go ahead with actually coming, uh, actually bringing this in. All right, but we would love to do it for September if we could. Is that okay? Yeah. Have either of you got any other questions you'd like to ask us about it? No. No? No. no.
Please. Well, thank you very, very much. You've been absolutely brilliant. You know, the pupils in Brinty School are brilliant. And actually, this opportunity that we are talking about now, I think will allow you to grow even more and more and more. So thank you. What a brilliant start.